In one of my video, I demonstrated how you can create a slide cast. Means recording a slide on your mobile screen. And at the same time, how you can capture your video with the help of front camera of your mobile. But I received few comments from the teachers asking how they can also scribble over the slide. Because it is very common requirement while teaching something using slides, they want to highlight that this point is being described now or they want to draw some small small things. In this video, I will show you how you can use a free application to draw on your mobile screen. So this way you will be able to create slide cast with your video and at the same time writing on the screen also. So why wait? Let's start. Before showing the use of application, I would like to show you one very important feature which is available in all the Android devices. That feature is to show touches. So whenever I touch on a screen, you are able to see this dot. You are able to see this dot because I have enabled an option. In your case, you will not be able to see this dot because you haven't enabled that show touch option. I will show you how you can enable it. So let's go to settings, your mobile settings, then go to about. So you will see some about phone option on your settings, go to about phone, then come to either device version or version name. So here you can see on this version, it is written that tap seven times to enter developer mode. So if I tap seven times here, it will take me to the developer mode. So I'm going to tap it. So I tapped seven times. Now you can see that developer mode is on. Now because developer mode is on, if I go back in the settings here in the additional settings, I should be able to see the developer options now. See here you can see developer options are enabled. If I go there, there is an option which is known as show touches. So that you have to search. See, in this input section, you can see that this show touches option is enabled on my device. This is why whenever I am touching my screen, you are able to see this white circle. If I disable it, now I am touching my device, but still you can't see that option. So I'll click on show touch and now you will be able to see this touch, okay, touch pointer basically. So now you know that the touch pointer is enabled. Now if you want to present your slide, you need to go to the slide which you have to open the slide which is available on my drive. So I'll open the slide. Then I'll open it in presentation mode. I'll present on this device. I can rotate it. And now you will see when I want to explain some point, for example, if I want to show users that I am explaining the first point, free screen recorder, then I will simply touch this screen, see. Now you are able to see this white circle. Similarly, I will, I can do this here on the second point also. Similarly, I can do this anywhere. So it is very good option to highlight your mobile screen and it is not based on some application. You do not need any application. It is by default there in your Android devices. For second option, which is based on an application, when you want to draw on slide or basically anywhere on your mobile screen, then you can use an application which is known as draw on screen. So I'll show you the use of draw on screen now. The free application that allow you to draw on your mobile screen is known as draw on screen. For that, you have to go to Play Store so I'll go to play store and I'll search for draw on a screen. See, you can see this option. Remember this icon and it is made by Lee Than Dat. Okay. Remember this. So I'll click on install. It will take some time to install on my mobile device. So it is now installed. I will now open it. When this opens for the first time, it configures and show you some options and basically also tells you how to use it. So I'll just pass through this guide because I already know and I'm going to demonstrate it to you. 
So this is the interface provided by this application. Now you can see the first option is minimal interface, then minimize on draw, then there are some other options display redo icon, display shake icon, display corner menu icon, application introduction and there are some language settings. We do not need to worry about any of these settings. All we need to do is simply start this tool. So I'll click on start. Then it will ask me some permission. So I'll grant this permission. So it is asking for floating window management because you want to draw anywhere on a screen. Because you want to draw anywhere, this means you need to have this widget anywhere on any application on any screen of your mobile. So I have to give this, this application. So you can see draw on a screen is available here. I will allow it. Once it is allowed, then I'll go back. And when this is allowed, you can see this simple tool here. So I'll come to my home screen and now you will be able to see this toolbar here. Okay. So if I click on this arrow, then this will hide. If I click on this pencil icon, it will show. Here on, if I click on this uh, eye icon, then all the drawings which are there on the screen will be hidden. If I click on it, then all the drawings will be visible. This brush allow me to paint anywhere. When I click on this, it asks me to set a brush size. See, I can set a brush size. It's showing some uh, advertisement. We do not need to worry about this advertisement. So I can set a brush size and I click on OK. And then whenever I will uh, touch my screen, it will start drawing. See? You can see you can also see the pointer touch pointer correct so it will start drawing this is how you can draw anywhere not only on home screen but let's say if i am going uh, on any screen let's let's go inside for that if what you need to do if you want to enable your general mobile application options then you have to close this eye icon or you have to delete and then close this option this way, now your normal behavior will work. So for example, if you want to draw on this screen, I will select, I will click on this eye option and then I will start drawing by saying, see, this is Chrome icon, this is YouTube icon. This is how you can draw and teach. When you want to undo something, there is an undo icon. You can click on this undo and it is now gone. You want to select a different color for that this color palette is available and you can select a different color. Now I can draw with that color. See, I'll undo. Or whenever you have drawn a lot of things on your screen and you want to delete everything, then you simply click on this delete option. Everything will be deleted. But if you want to come back to your uh, normal application behavior, then you have to switch off this I icon. Only then your application will start behaving normally. Otherwise, it will act as drawing pad. Now I believe you know the basic things about this application. So let's come back to our point. We were trying to present a slide, recording our face and writing on the screen. So for that I have already started a screen recorder that you can see. This screen recorder is already capturing my screen and my face. All I need to do now is open my drive. So I will go to drive and click on this slide that I want to present. I will click on present mode, present on this device and I will now rotate it. When I rotate this device, the tool is also rotated. And the good thing about this particular mobile that I have Right now, it, its screen size is little different. So generally our screen size is 16 by 9, but its ratio is different. This is why you can see that this toolbar is kind of out of my slide. This means I can later crop this slide and this toolbar will not be visible. Although there is no problem even if this toolbar is visible while you are recording your screen. So let's now present it. So I am going to second option, second slide. And then I want to draw. So what I'll do, I will click on this I option. I'll delete whatever is already there. Then I have, I already have a brush and I will say that now I am recording the first point 
and this is the second option which is one of the most important option as you can see we need to change the width of the brush so i'll click on brush and then i will change its size to somewhere around 10 or 12 say so, okay now i'll go to second slide for that i need to click on this eye icon go to second slide again click on this eye icon delete whatever is there and then i can highlight any of the point like this one two i can say they switch on camera don't forget to switch on your camera and mic it is very important you can edit your video with the help of vlog it and finally you have to export the video so this is how you can explain while you are drawing on your slides once you explained a slide don't forget to delete whatever is already written and when you are done with that you go to another slide by disabling this eye icon once i am done i'll stop recording i'll come out and now i also want to hide this tool for that what i need to do i need to i have to open that drawer in the drawer you will see this option just draw on a screen you will click on it and then you can exit once you click on exit that toolbar is now gone if you want to enable it again while you are presenting something then you have to go to the application which was draw on a screen click on the application and then click on this start button this application is very small and you can test all these four or five features which are available here yourself so when you want to draw again simply click on the start button and the toolbar will appear and finally you will again go back and start recording now I believe you know how to enable developer option to show touches on your mobile screen. At the same time you also know how to install and use this application so that you can draw while recording a slide cast with your face. So this way your tutorial will be very rich and students will love it. Let me know if you like my video and if you have any query you can ask in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much.